Okay, we'll talk through mind your P's and Q's. In RSA, a small e value can be problematic, but what about n? Can you decrypt this? So there's a values uh, file that you can download there. And it says decrypt my super sick RSA. It gives you ciphertext, a big number, and a big number, and E, which is 65,537, which is sort of a common value for the public key. Now that N is, is large, but it's not really too large for uh, our computers. So you can take this value of N and load it into a program that's going to decrypt that for you or actually factor that for you rather, I should say. So uh, here is an online JavaScript that actually runs on your computer to factor n. So I put in that value of n, I waited about nine minutes and it gave me these two values here, right? So these are p and q. So p and q are the two factors of n and RSA relies on for its security, the idea that you can't factor n. So now once I know these two values, what I can do is I can actually just do the math from RSA. So I specify P and Q, N is P times Q. The Euler totient is P minus one times Q minus one. And the private key is the multiplicative inverse of the public key, 65,537 mod phi. So once I get P and Q, I can compute phi. I can compute this modular inverse. I just copied this code from Stack Overflow. Then the plain text is the cipher text raised to the private key power mod n. Uh, I printed that out, then I printed it in hexadecimal, and I converted that hexadecimal to ASCII. So if you run that program, you'll see here is our flag, picoctf small n, no good.